Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Brew Review Crew. I'm Ron. And I'm Corey. And today we are marking the anniversary, the 50th That's anniversary right. of the Beatles uh, heading to America and going to the Ed Sullivan Show with a groovy beer called Sgt. Pepper from the Cambridge Brewing Company in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Glub, 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 glub. All right, Corey, so why don't you tell us a little bit about the Cambridge Brewing Company and a little bit about the Sergeant Pepper. Sure. Uh, the Cambridge Brewing Company is based out of, obviously, uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts, and one of their missions is to kind of just be as green as possible, you know. They like to um, recycle their spent grain, give them to local farmers. They like to use all local produce, all local farmed animals, uh, you know, hum humanely raised, so no growth hormones, nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Um, and any of their seafood has to be sustainable as well, so nothing that has declining population, uh, which I think is really cool. You know, they're trying to give back as much as they are produce stuff for us. Um, and Sgt. Pepper, as a beer, is a, is a farmhouse saison style, so it's going to have a lot of those Belgian-y, those funky yeast notes. It's going to have a little bit of earthiness, a little spiciness to it. And it's brewed with four different kinds of peppercorns, so white, pink, green, and black. Um, what we kind of we didn't know before we kind of learned was pink peppercorns are actually just little berries. <laughs> I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, and then green peppercorns are just unripe black peppercorns, and white peppercorns are black peppercorns with the the black part of it kind of taken away. So um, we, we kind of get a lot of the different peppery flavors, obviously, and just see how they all kind of meld together in a nice little harmony. Yeah. So each one should have its own little flair of flavor to it. Yeah. First, let's take a look at how it looks. Yeah. I mean, the thing I notice is, I've said this before with Saisons or like uh, these Belgian style ales is that it's almost like wet hay. Like when you would see in a, you know, a hay field after the rain, that's the exact golden color I like. It's a little deeper than some of the other Saisons, that Saisons I've had, but I like that color. Yeah, to me it's got like that, the same thing I say about all of them, it's got almost like a glow coming from the mm -hmm. middle of them. Mm -hmm. Very well carbonated. A little yeasty. There's a little uh, couple of yeasties yeah. floating around in there. Not a whole lot, not anything off-putting or anything, but uh, yeah, it looks really nice. And you might have seen in those cut shots the amount of head that was poured with this thing. I mean, it was it was hard to control at times because yeah. it's just a very, very bright and bubbly type beer. So it gave us this nice pillowy white head that was, you know, it was made it for a beautiful pour. And the head's good. Again, yeah. check out the beer myths. <laughs> That's right. Beer myths. Uh, head's good. We love them. Yeah. Don't do the whole nose of the beer thing. No, oh, it's the grossest. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a break and come back and take a sniff of this. All right, let's take a whiff of the Sergeant Pepper. Should get a little bit of uh, get a little bit of alcohol up front. Yeah, which is kind of surprising. But I also get a little. I you know I always hear this term and I'm always scared to kind of like use it and throw it out there. But it, it does have like a barnyard type smell. Yeah. You know, it's it's earthy. It's a little dirt flavored or dirt you know smelling. Yeah. Um, and not necessarily in a bad way, just kind of in a way that if you were outside working on the farm, you kind of had that same aroma. And that's, you know, these are farmhouse sales. I mean, maybe that's yeah, part I, of the thing I, going into it. I hear that a lot when people are reviewing these. Um, I get a lot of uh, orange, citrusy, yeah. um, kind of, I know you kind of hate when I throw this around, but again, <laughs> kind of like a screwdriver. I don't know, because there is a booziness, like he said, right up front, yeah. there's like sort of an alcohol uh, aroma. but. What, combined with the orange, that's a good kind of like mm -hmm. uh, first thing that pops in my head. But yeah. I also kind of smell the pepper profile a little bit. Yeah. It's, the, it's like a little bit of a bite mm -hmm. on the nose, and it makes me. And this was made with it was made with rye um, as well as just your normal malts. Uh, so I think it gives it a little spice too. I mean, there's definitely a lot of a spice in the back of the nostril, which it's kind of nice. I think it smells pretty good. Yeah. I'm pretty excited to uh, yeah. tear into this thing. Sure. So without further ado, let's take a taste of the Sergeant Pepper. Cheers. It's uh, not as sweet as I thought it would be. It's kind of clean, you know, it's very, I, you know, I expected it with the, kind of that aroma to be really sweet and kind of on the front of the tongue, but it's it's clean. It's got that nice pepper flavor in the background. I actually, I actually enjoy that. Yeah, it definitely has the pepper coming off of it. Yeah, I was kind of expecting more of a... I don't know, like a like a yeasty sweetness mm -hmm. from like that Belgian profile. Yeah, I'm not really getting it a whole mm -hmm. lot. It's kind of dry. Um, 
which again is I, I don't know if it's it's not negative but it's atypical I guess of the style it's right drier than I was going to expect and again a little bit less sweeter than I thought definitely throw me a little bit of a curveball I'm getting the peppercorn <laughs> yeah. the peppery and I like it yeah but it seems like it's missing just a little yeah and I I kind of saw this in like the the ingredients listed and I was thinking it would be a really just clean and crisp type ale and it is um, but I, again I don't want this to sound negative but it's kind of bland you know you, we yeah. kind of expected a little more out of it um, it's just very subtle notes it does have some spice to it though yeah I mean for it being you know for it's it's thing it's going for is to be a peppercorn beer I think it gets that down pretty well I like it there um, but yeah with not in a negative way but it is a little bland yeah. there's not anything no, crazy going on not a lot of saison farmhouse mm -mm. you know yeah it's not really taking your palate through a journey or anything it's just not there's not different parts to the experience mm -hmm. it's pretty much uh, right. It's a clean aftertaste, which is nice because sometimes with these, you know, these uh, Belgian styles, they get a little funky. But yeah, and I love pepper, and it definitely is leaving a a pepper mm -hmm. feel to the back of your mouth, and I enjoy the flavor. It's right. just not what I was expecting. All right, Corey. So, uh, what are your final impressions on the Cambridge Brewing Company Sergeant Pepper? Uh, well, like we said, it kind of wanted. It left us wanting a little bit more. Yeah, uh, it was a little bland for what I thought a saison should be, especially one with, with all this pepper flavor that was supposed to be infused into it. And we did get that. Um, you know, I got a little bit of that earthiness too. You know, the more I drink of it, the more you know earth tones I kind of get. But I'm thinking more just a high C, maybe like a 79, 80 ish range. Yep, I'm I am right in line with that. It's kind of funny as you're talking. I'm thinking back to again that brewery of Avant, Sergeant Peppercorn. Uh, I thought that was kind of bland too. I don't. Yeah. I don't maybe it's just the peppercorn thing. Uh, it kind of overtakes. Yeah, maybe that just becomes the dominant flavor, yeah. and that's all you can do with it. But I think, thinking back, I remember just wanting more. Mm -hmm. Like it was good, but I just wanted more. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would be right there too. Uh, C plus, B minus area, yeah. somewhere like a somewhere between a seventy seven and like a seventy nine. Yeah, and you know it is a refreshing beer. Yeah, and it'd be great on a summer day, which is you know saisons are supposed to be that way. So, you know, in that regards, it did its job. But just in total flavor, I think we just both were expecting a little bit more than it gave us, um, which kind of lowered the grade a little bit. Yeah, but I mean, I would really like to go check these guys out because as I was yeah. perusing through their website, it sounds it like really they cool. they do all kinds of experimental beers, and I would mm -hmm. really love to try out their menu because that's their thing. Right. Their beers are made to pair with their food. And uh, I mean, I love the label art. I love their mission. I like everything they're doing. Yeah. It's not a bad beer. It's just, uh, you know, nothing's jumping out it's at me. It's just missing. It's just one off. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just I a just, I want, bit, I want something, I want something to just push it through. Cause mm -hmm. the aroma I like, yeah. the aroma's got a lot going on there. I just wish I got a little bit more of that with the flavor. Yeah. So. All right guys, thanks again for checking us out. We're already at episode number five. Yeah. So we're rolling right along. Uh, so keep tuning back to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to us. Comment on the videos, what you like, what you don't like. Maybe we're completely off the mark. Maybe you love it. Let us know because that's the great thing about craft beer. Everyone's got an opinion. So let us hear it. Uh, besides that, we are on Twitter and on Facebook. Yeah. Google Plus, we're everywhere. If there's an internet, social media, we're probably on it. So we're trying to work out the RSS feed as well. Yeah, so. the RSS feed's been screwing it's, us up, but we're going to figure it out yeah. so you can get it first. So uh, again, check us out everywhere. Thank you again for spending your time with us. Thanks again. This is another episode of the Brew Review Crew. Well, we'll review a brew for you. Cheers.